Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be a good day because we are shooting nighttime talks. And the funny thing is, it's actually 9 a.m. in the morning, and you're probably thinking, well, it's called nighttime talks. But the reason for that is, sorry, I'm gonna turn off the heater because it's really cold down here, but there we go. Nighttime talks start off at night, and then the bonus episodes that uh, we shot last year were kind of shot some at night and some kind of midday. Um, but this is the first time we're shooting in the morning, and the reason for that is because now we have not one, not two, but three, three kids. It's kind of like when one's kind of chilling, you know, the other two are like all over the place, and then when we get two chilling, the third one's like, no, it's not happening. So <laughs> it's been hard to kind of, it's been difficult juggling everyone's schedule and trying to fit it in because it has to be completely quiet. We're recording this audio and you could hear everything from above us. Um, we're in the basement and so like right above us is the main living area and the kitchen kind of covers half of it. And so when you're even just walking around, it's like, you could really hear it. So, yeah, Drusilla's dropped off at school. The boys are with their, grand, uh, with their grandparents right now, um, just for a couple hours. And we're gonna hammer it out, get this episode out to you guys. You've probably noticed a change in the first couple episodes that we released. And this set right here, and the reason for that is because we, we, we moved um, last year and we've been trying to find a, a good spot in this house to set up. But the problem is it's kind of like, it didn't work out anywhere upstairs in the main living area like we had it before. And so um, this is kind of the, the, the office area. I guess it is the office. It's not the ideal setup we want. It seems kind of plain, but um, we're working on it. Just a work in progress. We're excited to get this up and running. Stay tuned. And not sure if this part is going to be out by the time the first episode's gonna be out. Or you know what, this vlog actually might be out after this episode releases. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you in a bit. Stop. Look at this look. Nice. Is that a Capri Sun? It's a cool light. Oh, when'd you get these? I, had, um, I bought them after I gave birth. I got them zipped. I still have my pouch. But, uh, that's because I have to get surgery. <laughs> what are you getting surgery for? So, I've been having a hard time losing the pregnancy weight and I've been super bloated and my blood pressure has been high. And I was like, what's wrong with me? Anyways, it's really dumb. So like, the internet knows this. I have the worst time with birth control. The internet knows this. They and, do? Yeah, I've talked about it. How they know this? I've talked about it like several times, even on the show I talked about it. So I get like the worst side effects from birth control and we just had a baby and I was like, you know what? Like, I wanna be responsible and I have another baby because life be hard with three kids. I'm gonna be responsible. I'm gonna get the IUD. So I got the IUD and the, I just remember how bad it hurt to get the IUD in the insert, insertion, insertion, whatever. When they put it in you. When they, it hurt really bad. And like, I was bleeding, TMI, I was bleeding a lot. I was in a lot of pain. And I thought I was like going into birth or whatever, like I was gonna like give birth to the IUD because I read online that happens. And so like, you know, I checked and it wasn't there. And I'm like, what the hell, did I birth it? So I went to the doctors, they couldn't find it. They're like, yeah, you probably just like gave birth to it. You know, that happens. Let's do an ultrasound, did the ultrasound, it's not there. Did an x-ray. Well, it's floating around in my abs. So what happened was like it, poked a hole through my uterus and now it's just chilling and floating around in my abdomen and it hurts really bad. And that's probably why I've been super bloated and sick and having to go to the bathroom all the time. So I have to go get surgery tomorrow, to get it removed. All because I was just trying to be responsible. <laughs> yeah, so I have to go get surgery and now I'm gonna have scars all over my belly, which is fine, but like, it's so dumb. It's just dumb, it's, it's rough. dumb. It's, it's rough. Sucks, it sucks. Just trying to be responsible. 
This was like a month ago too. So like at least I caught it pretty soon, you know? There's yeah. like this one chick I read online who didn't know for like 10 years. Wouldn't that hurt though? Cause yeah. it's hurting you every day. It hurts. I think she just thought like, she finally went to the doctor. She was like, bro, I need x-ray. Like I've been hurting for like 10 years. And then they did the x-ray. But hers like travel all the way up here. It was like in her rib cage or Yikes. something. Yeah, can't so catch a break. Oh, PSA, man. this is more common than you think. Like they don't tell you this, but it is like a little piece of metal. It will it can pop through your freaking uterus and travel to your body and make you like super sick and I thought I thought I was just normal pain, but damn, it's not. Struggle city. Struggle city, I have to go get surgery tomorrow, so there's that. I have an appointment in like two hours to go talk about my surgery. <clears throat> All right, so today is the day surgery for Devin. Um, she probably explained it in the previous vlog entries that we might have done. Yep, she's getting surgery because the birth control went wrong and it's like now stuck in her abdomen. So the surgery is at 12 to 11, 13. So we're gonna head out, drop the boys off with the grandparents, and then get to the hospital. So let's go. It's time. It's time. It's time. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I have to go get labs. I hate that. It'll be okay, honey. Yeah. Fighter. I'm just sick of like surgeries, doctor visits. I thought it was all done. <laughs> now we have surgery and doctor's visits. Hopefully this will be the last one that you do. Yeah. That you're in. Hopefully. Unless it's cosmetic. Just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a few hours. The surgery is scheduled for like to start within 10 to tentatively like the next 30 about the next 20 to 30 minutes yeah. then after that it's like 40, 30 to 40 minutes surgery then after that they said like 30 to 40 minutes recovery and then after that it's like another hour hour and a half where i could see her again but in the meantime gotta go pick up yourself from school be back in the waiting room and hopefully you'll be done by then. You should pick up the kids like food, maybe. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. I could fix that. I can fix that. You guys ever seen Holes? He, he's also the, the actor from Psych. He's like, I could fix that. <laughs> kids are dropped off, or Drusilla is dropped off. Now heading back to the hospital. It's been about an hour since her procedure started from, from what I've been told, unless something more urgent came in. And so that would delay her procedure, but we're hoping it didn't. So now, yeah, gonna go wait in the waiting room. They said they're gonna call my phone. So when I'm uh, allowed to go back, so hopefully we'll get the call soon and everything will be golden. So we'll see. It's 4.50. Her surgery was tentatively at 1.15 and they said it would take about 30 to 40 minutes. I got here maybe around 2.30 and they said, or waited 30, 40 minutes. And they said that they have no update. And now it's 4.50. So what is going on? So I'm here with Devin. I got in at 5.30 and it's 6.20 now. She doesn't want to be seen, but she's right here. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna use this. What? It feels off. What do you Cause you're in pain. She woke up and her vision was blurry, but it took some time. Um, but it's coming back, right? Her vision's back now, and she had trouble breathing, but she's breathing now. So. All right, I've got your paper cover. Whew! Finally. 
out going to pull the car around the nurse is going to bring Devin around it's dark and it's snowing guys Whew. it's been snowing a lot lately so I think we're going to get food because she hasn't had anything to eat all day so yep Perfect. <laughs> world market. Wait, we're going to the world market? World market. World market! I had surgery two days ago, so I guess this is my surgery. You can't talk. <laughs> you put the camera on you and you're like... <laughs> it hurts. My throat You didn't talk like that all yesterday. It hurts. <laughs> okay, so we're two days out from surgery. Stomach's bruised, swollen. Uh, yeah. Wait, where are we going again, Dad? World Market. World Market. And uh, we are gonna run some errands. Yeah. So World Market. I used to shop there a lot back in California, and I just realized there's one over here in Farmington. So it's like an outdoor it mall. It's really cute. It's a bit chilly, but they have Old Navy here. I thought they went out of business. Guess I'm not. Dad, a Garrett? So, yeah. I'm Dad, a Garrett. Is that fruit that? Fruit that? Yeah, that's really spicy. They have put that They do? Yeah. I want to eat. It's really spicy. That stuff will mess you up. Well, not everyone, but I know my sister used to eat it for that cleansing feeling. <laughs> it's a pretty cold and. Whoa. It's a pretty cold and wet day, but. We're out. Just checked out World Market. Great stuff. Bought some snacks. And now we're heading to Build a Bear. I think it's Build a Bear. And I think we're gonna build a bear. 